In my practice, it, uh, the question often arises as to the difference between California, Nevada, and Arizona with respect to workers' comp and how workers' comp, you know, began and the effect it's had uh, all over time. And the answer is that it is all individual. Each state has its own scheme based upon whatever the legislature determines they want to cover with respect to workers' compensation. And because of that, no two states will have identical ways of dealing with injured workers and with employers. And so if you're either an injured worker or an employer, you need to know that whatever state you're operating in or employed in, you need to know what your rights are with respect to the litigation that could result as a, as a consequence of any injury that occurs on the job, and how you can move forward and use those rights in your favor. Because workers' compensation is a litigated matter. It is not something that you want to go into without counsel and without thinking about the, the upside and downside of any position that you might take. It's like any other litigation. For those people who are involved in a workers' compensation matter, if you are not seeking counsel, you are not going to have the answers that you need to be successful in that litigation.